one of the things that's always struck me about doing these kind of road trips is it's almost like a benevolent prison camp. This is a traveling road show. A campaign is not only a full-time job, but a full-time existence. And so I haven't had an apartment or a home in seven months. I haven't seen my family or friends in months. All of us have made a decision that this is important. And I don't want to be overly dramatic and say once in a lifetime, but you know, once in a, in a while kind of experience. This is not a one-man show. There's a team of people involved, staffers and volunteers, many of whom have worked for other candidates who help out at event sites, help make sure we have everything from snacks on the bus to make sure our luggage gets on the plane. So we really rely on a combination of staff and volunteers to help get this train rolling every day. And if you will fight with me, if you will work with me, if you're going to go out and vote for me, I promise you, you and I together, we're going to change the country and change the world. Typically what we do when we're doing events throughout a state or in a community, we'll pick a town or a stop on the way that we can make as a surprise stop so that he can visit with people in that community, usually where they work, where they live. some of the smaller towns in Ohio when a Barack Obama shows up, people are just curious. They want to see him. They want to make sure he doesn't have horns going out of the back of his head. You're told when you wake up in the morning. You're told when you bring your equipment down to be swept. You're told when you eat. You're told what time you will be able to file your stories. place like Chillicothe, Ohio, a candidate like a Barack Obama will bring along somebody like Ted Strickland, whom they know, and he'll deliver part of the message. Barack Obama will sort of like put the icing on the cake. It's very difficult to be in touch with the voters when you're making quick in and outs. It's one of the problems of the bubble that you find yourself in. You can't stay behind and get reaction from the crowd and people still trying to make up their minds about who they're going to vote for. This is a guy who can be extremely charming in one-on-one -on -one situations with people. Uh, he's very good at that and obviously he's a great guy for making a stump speech. He's brilliant at that. 